There are still fish in Lake Thathar, just not many fishermen. Al-Qaeda had a base here. In fact, the lake is at the heart of a disputed region which was effectively controlled by militant factions until recently. Khalid Ibrahim, like all the other fishermen coming back to the water, spent those dark months holed up at home. They controlled the whole area. It affected our everyday life because we couldn't come here and work. People would rather stay sitting at home than come and fish. We waited to see what would happen. At first, the militias were content with stealing their fish or squaring up to anyone who did business with the Shiites. But then, bodies started appearing in the lake. Two members of my family were kidnapped and killed by terrorists, and the same thing happened with other people living in the area. Some were kidnapped, and their bodies still haven't been found. It was because of this terrorizing of the local population that a volunteer militia supported by the government was put together. In a few months, the jihadists were eradicated. The fishermen have started fishing here again, and because the area has been secure since we beat those men from Al-Qaeda, we killed some of them and arrested 26 or 27 others. Many of the victorious militia are former insurgents themselves. In turning against Al-Qaeda, they were receiving funds and arms from the US and the Iraqi government. Meanwhile, Lake Tharthar is enjoying its restored peace. Already on its banks, the men with guns are being replaced by those with fishing nets and picnics.